Time now for our first midday forum and joining us is Amy Dickerson with the Lancaster Event Center and today you're going to tell us some great news about a big event taking place in a couple of years. That's right. Lincoln has won the National High School Finals Rodeo and this is the world's biggest rodeo from a contestant perspective. And I was looking through some of the facts people from all the states even other countries as well will be attending this event. That's right 43 states, 5 Canadian provinces and Australia all coming 1700 contestants and all their families. And so then how did the mm -hmm. uh, Lancaster Event Center win the bid because it's kind of like the Olympics where a lot of other cities and yes. other venues say hey we want it here we yes. want it here and you have to kind of win. Yep we were competing with uh, Illinois and a couple towns in Wyoming and we went together with Convention Visitor Bureau with University of Nebraska uh, Lancaster Egg Society all went together and we put a, together a really strong bid and I tell you Lincoln's a really great story you know all the things that you can do here and just even just the location being in the center is an advantage right? Definitely. So. So we're going to get the bid. This is, I believe, is it 2020? Is that the first year? That's right. So they voted to come for sure 2020 and 2021. Okay. Each year they come at $16 million of economic impact. So these folks come for 13 performances over seven days. So over 10 days, Lincoln will feel this. You know, restaurants, gas, or, you know, retail stores all over the place, hotels, of course. And that was going to be some of the next question is the economic impact for the businesses. People are going to have to eat at restaurants. You have to find a place to sleep. That's right. So what does this mean for the capital city specifically with regards mm -hmm. to that $16 million? Yeah, and the whole county, actually, because we're a county facility. Um, $16 million, if you kind of put it into perspective, in talking uh, uh, to an economist at UNL, he says it's about equivalent to about, it'll feel like two football Saturdays over that 10, over that 10 days to all the businesses. So that's a really nice uh, ad. And, and they voted to come back in 26 and 27. So that's about $64 million of impact just from this one event. That's pretty good. Yes. And our change is going to have to take place to the Lancaster Event Center in order to accommodate yes. the rodeo championships. Yeah, another key partner for us was the county board. They manage the lodge, lodging tax fund. So visitors come, they pay some tax, put that back into attractions in the county to attract more visitors. And so they set aside $3 million. As soon as we get the dotted line signed, then $3 million available to help uh, add some campsites, uh, improve our outdoor arena with a large grandstand that kind of thing. And buildings wise, we're good. We have more than enough buildings. It's just a little bit of improvements outside to get done by 2020. There you go. And as you heard her say, about 10 months in order to write up the proposal and submit what was the winning bid. So good job for the hard work. Yep. It'll be fun for Lincoln to come out. These are athlete rodeo athletes that'll be going pro. Some of them have already gone pro this year, okay. you know, top of the bull ride standings or whatever. So this will be a neat opportunity for folks to come out and see some great rodeo. And us here at KL Can TV will continue to follow this and Give you some mm -hmm. more stories and once again great job and it's good for everybody thank you yay lincoln and we will be right back with our second midday guest you're watching channel 8 eyewitness news midday